Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geek Noise, and today I'm going to be performing a memory upgrade on my 15 inch MacBook Pro. Now this is the new Core i7 MacBook Pro, as you can see on the screen at the moment. It's got 2.66 gigahertz Intel Core i7 processor and four gigabytes of RAM installed. That's the four gigabytes that comes as standard when you buy the machine. Now, I've been supplied an eight gigabyte upgrade kit from Crucial Technology. Now they guarantee their memory for lifetime and they also guarantee it will work in the machine that you uh, configure it for. So a very, very good choice when you're purchasing memory. These are the two chips here. They arrived in the post the other day and the eight gigabyte kit is gonna cost you round about 360 pounds at the time of doing this review, although prices do fluctuate. Now, before I actually install the memory, I'm gonna run Geekbench, so let's double click on the uh, Geekbench um, application there and let's run the benchmarks. Now this takes the MacBook Pro through a series of tests to test both the hard drive, the processor and the memory and we're hopefully going to see a big difference once we've performed the memory upgrade. So that's the Geekbench application run. And as you can see, we've got an overall Geekbench score of 5512. Now the thing that we're interested in is the memory performance. Well, the memory performance is 4002 and the memory bandwidth performance is 3078. So I'm gonna take a little screen grab of that because that's the easiest way of doing it and save that to my desktop. Let's quit out of Geekbench and then let's shut this MacBook Pro down to perform the memory upgrade. So this is the underside of the MacBook Pro and as you can see we've got four screws top and bottom and then two screws either side. Make sure that you select a uh, screw bit that actually uh, fits the screws properly otherwise you'll risk rounding them off. I've got my memory to hand here which I'm going to be installing in the MacBook Pro and let's get to taking the screws out. So that's all of the screws removed on the MacBook Pro. It's just a simple matter of easing this back cover off. There's the cover removed to reveal the inside of the MacBook Pro. Now this is all about the memory upgrade, but I'll very quickly just run you through. This is the battery, this is not user replaceable. So after around about 1,000 recharges, it will start losing its ability to hold charge or might not be quite as effective. This is an Apple replaceable part. Here we've got a couple of fans here to keep everything cool. This is the hard drive, very easy to access. This is a user accessible part. So if you do want to swap this out, you can. And then this is the optical drive. Well, the bit that we're interested in is the memory. So we've got two little tabs here, either side of the memory, and we pull those apart and the first memory chip pops up and then we can just ease this out of the slot. Like so, so that's the first memory chip removed. And then the second one, we just perform the same thing again. We move these tabs apart and the second one pops up. Just gotta make sure it pops all the way up. And then once it's in this position, we can just ease it out of that slot. And then we're gonna put the other memory chips in. So let's pop this packaging open. So here's the first memory chip from Crucial. Let's handle it quite gently, not being a rush. 
So first memory chip, make sure that you get the slot in the right position so it lines up with the receptive slot on the MacBook Pro. Push it all the way in and then you're going to lower it down until it clicks into place. So that's the first one in place. Pop the package in to one side with the other chip because we keep this one safe if we ever need it. And then the second memory module is going to go into place. So let's get this one out of the packaging and line up the slot again and push it all the way in. Make sure it's seated all the way in and those terminals have gone into the slot properly. And then it's a simple matter of lowering it down until it clicks into place. Again, let's pop that other memory module to one side so that's nice and safe in case we need it again. So that's the memory installed. Very, very simple. You can see that they're seated properly. If they weren't, they wouldn't have clicked into place. And now it's just a simple matter of popping the cover back on. So we check that that cover's in the right position, which it certainly is. It's nicely lined up. And then we pop all the screws back in. I'm only going to put the screws in lightly at first uh, because then I will just go around and give them all an extra little tighten afterwards. There we go, there's all the screws back in to the MacBook Pro. So let's turn this over and we'll switch this back on and see how it performs. Okay, so that's everything actually put back together now. Now, you saw in the first part of the video, I ran Geekbench. Well, let's very quickly get the about this Mac panel up and this shows that it's now showing eight gigabytes of RAM installed. And now let's run that Geekbench again. So we start the benchmarks running. Now this should make a reasonable amount of difference. Some other companies have been doing benchmarks and it's made sort of 5 to 10% difference in the performance. So that's almost finished running now. It's just going into the second half of the benchmark. Now, as before, let's just pop this in the middle of the screen. We've got a memory performance of 3994 and a memory bandwidth performance of 3207. Overall, Geekbench score is 5547. So let's just uh, take a screenshot of that. And let's quickly open up both of the screenshots. So this was the one before. And then this was the one after. So as you can see, the memory performance has gone down slightly, uh, but the memory bandwidth performance has gone up quite considerably to 3207. And that is about a 7% increase or 6 to 7% increase on the previous. So it was 3078 and now it's 3207. And the overall Geekbench score has gone up from 5512 to 5547. So a good improvement in performance, certainly for my video work and photo work as well. 
the additional four gigabytes of memory, so the total of eight gigabytes of memory, should make a lot of difference to the performance of my MacBook Pro. A big, big thank you to Crucial. You can find their UK website at crucial.com forward slash UK for supplying me this eight gigabyte upgrade kit for the MacBook Pro. As I say, it's gonna cost you around about 360 pounds at the time of doing this review. Prices do fluctuate, but I think that represents fantastic value for money for memory that would cost you a lot more if you'd specified it from Apple. Well, thanks very much for listening. If you want to get my regular updates, please do follow me on Twitter by following at Geekanoids. And if you want to check out all of my regular reviews, please, please subscribe to the Geekanoids channel. This video review is sponsored by Crucial, the memory experts. They provide reliable PC, notebook and Mac memory to boost your system performance and improve your general workflow.